If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Putting on the roots. Was it cramped in your shelter? Was it cramped in your shelter? Yes, it was, it was very cramped if there was a family of six people in the shelter. And it wasn't comfortable at all, but we just accepted it. Perhaps Mother could cut some sandwiches because we didn't know how long we'd be there, or she'd make a flask of tea. But uh, most evenings, you just rushed down there without anything, and you stayed there all night. Oh, you had blankets there on the oh, you had blankets. You, you put blankets, but you slept on the floor. And they were wooden floors as well, you know. And sometimes you'd get the creepy crawlies come in, you know, because it was all <laughs> not very pleasant, because <laughs> there was all earth on top of the shelters. Yeah. Could you wear lipstick? Could you wear lipstick? Did you wear lipstick? Yes. <laughs> and still do. <laughs> Did you know anyone's house who was destroyed? Did you know anyone's house that was destroyed? Well, I remember when I was about... 15 I moved but uh, looking back I remember somebody told me that house that I had lived in had a direct hit and uh, unfortunately there were people killed and that was in Lonsborough Road Stoke Newington Your house was half knocked down Yes we there was um, one of the V1 rockets fell on a house at the back and two houses along from me were completely demolished my house was very badly damaged. We had no roof, no windows, no doors, no nothing. We lived there from July until November, and we had to move out because we couldn't live there through the winter. What was the most rationed food that, um, or supply that you had in the war? There was meat, uh, tea, sugar, butter. Uh, butter. You only got about two ounces of butter a week, two ounces of cheese a week. Yeah. If you were lucky, two eggs. Bacon was rationed, really everything, and sweets as well. So we didn't get any sweets. But um, we, we seemed to get by because you had powdered egg, which was very good, and you used to sort of beat it up and make an omelette, and it was really lovely. And another thing we got, I think, which came from America was Spam, and that was really delicious, and that wasn't on what they called the coupons. Concentrated orange. Yeah, concentrated orange for young children. And I would just like to remember uh, when, we, when you spoke of bananas, um, we didn't get bananas, as you know, but I, went, I was 10 years old and I went to a friend's house, supposed to have been for tea, and her auntie gave us a slice of bread each on the plate, and there was this little dish, and I looked at it, I thought, that's mashed banana. I thought, oh, we don't get bananas. And we all got a spoonful put on our plate, and it turned out to be parsnips with banana essence. <laughs> and you could hardly tell the difference. The only thing in those days, parsnips only came in about November and December. So you didn't have fridges in them days or anything like that, or freezers. So in November and December, you got mum to make loads of this mashed up banana, which was parsnips and banana essence, but it was delicious. And I often think of that today, you could hardly taste the difference. And that's my memory of bananas all through the war. <laughs> What was the longest time you spent in the air shelter? What was the longest time you were in the air raid shelter? How long did you have to stay? 12 hours? Okay. Those of us that lived in the flats, we never had gardens. They used to reinforce the ground floor flat, but other than that, we used to pick up a few pieces of bedding, maybe a pillar and a blanket. And I lived in Shoreditch at the time, and we used to have to either walk to uh, Old Street Station, which had quite a deep shelter, or sometimes to vary it, we used to walk over to Moorgate, <laughs> go down the shelter there, underneath the garage. The garage is still there, gardens are on top. And I think the underground used to be a car park, I'm not sure. Well, the house is different than the ones we have today. 
No bathrooms. The toilet was out in the street, out in the garden, right in the very cold with spiders and God knows what. And nothing, oh, I don't know, not today. They're no. living in luxury, the kids today, and they don't realise what they've no got. Electricity. No, no electricity. Oh, gas, yeah. Gas mantles. About gas mantles, yeah, and things like that. So kids, make the most of what you If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Putting on the roots.